just been cleaning my kitchen. You can see the dawn in the back. But I was trying to come up with something to film this week because it's like the second week of school. And the one thing that's been really significant that I've been doing lately now that I've been on my own is cooking a lot here. So I figured I'd just show you what I've been cooking for myself lately. So this is gonna be a little vegan what I eat in a week now that I have a kitchen and a personal trash can. The only thing is it's kind of the end of the day today so I don't really know if I'm gonna be cooking uh, but I do know that I'm seeing my friend's art show in a few minutes and then I'm gonna go thrifting so you know just get in my bag let's let's get on with the day already I saw this video one time that I cannot find anywhere. I just tried to look it up for five minutes, but I've had no success. But essentially it's a good way to use up pretty ripe bananas because you make these little oak clusters, kind of like granola, but on your stove so you don't have to heat your oven up and stuff, which is actually very convenient because my oven doesn't work. So here's attempt number two by using my kitchen breakfast edition. God, I'm going to do the top of this. farmer's market last weekend, but it's sustainably sourced. They make it right here in Tuscaloosa. It's cinnamon cream honey. I love it. And I heard that if you eat local honey, it's good for your allergies and your immune system because you're putting little bits of whatever is in the plants that are around you, like the bees pollinate in your body. I really don't know if that's true, but it makes sense, so.
would say this is very successful. I don't know how long it's gonna last in Tupperware, but I've never eaten oats this texture. <laughs> They're like soft enough to not be raw. And the banana, it is a little caramelly. I really like it. Banana cluster for breakfast. Another little life update. I moved my plants to this location. So now all I need is like a little red watering can. And I can just wake up in the morning, water them. God, but yeah, it's exciting stuff. Another update. successful trip to Target, if I do say so myself. I've been looking for reusable plastic for a really long time. I feel like that's a really important thing when you're living on your own. You realize how much garbage and trash you go through. I have a little trash bag that I keep, but I fill it up so frequently. Like I go through trash, which is actually terrifying and you never are really forced to realize it until you have to take out your own trash. So. I just feel like it all starts with reusable containers, or at least that's what I'm starting with. absolutely love these cauliflower balls. Okay, I have leftovers. Let's see how these work. Oh, I think they came with specific bowls. We tried. Hmm. Having my own little party. It's a school night, so I'm going to bed, but snacking on groceries. Got a face mask on. And that's it. On to the next day.
course, surrounding that, we have risks as far north as St. Louis and as far east as Macon, Georgia. This is the probabilistic outlook for tornadoes today. And again, in the hatched area. My friend and I went to the gym this morning, so it's still only eight, but I think that's why I'm feeling kind of hungrier than normal. I'm just going to do oatmeal, which isn't exciting or anything, but I got a bunch of fruit yesterday and I always crave sweet stuff in the morning. I don't have a microwave here though, so every time I make oats, I always have to use this little kettle, which is actually fine because it, I don't know, it makes me feel like a nomad. I finished most of my work. I'm recipe testing some coffee cake cookies. And I've patched my pimples. I'm gonna go see if I can find someone with a working oven. And we'll see how these turn out. Before dinner. Hungry. Mm. Ramen. No. Last meal of the week, we're making slow. 
It's been a really good week as far as cooking goes and just school in general. I feel like I'm finally getting used to a schedule. My earliest class is 9 a.m. and that's only twice a week. So I just tend to have a little bit of free time in the morning, which has been really therapeutic lately. So I just got back from my 9 a.m. actually, and I found this or a recipe really similar to it the other day. Partially because my oven doesn't work, so I have to just find a bunch of stovetop recipes that seem appetizing. Slump is one of those. Essentially, it's a dumpling dough, and you just smack it on top of some boiling fruit and steam it and spoon it into a bowl afterwards. Also, my dear friend Matt gave me this salt. If you've ever had flaky salt, it makes you feel like a badass. So right now I'm just making that dumpling dough that's gonna steam on top of the fruit. Ah, oh, you know what? I'll use my new whisk. Not sure how I feel. Slump. Mmm. It's like the texture of a pot sticker, but it's sweet. It's really good. Anyway, final notes. I try to fit in breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I try to shop on a budget and just eat what sounds good. And that, that tends to work. So week two, we made it. We survived a hurricane, and now we're eating slump. So, doesn't get better. Mm -hmm.